Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to show you how you can install C Sharp in VS Code. Now this has been a question many students have been asking me. I already have a complete detailed course on C Sharp on my channel and many students want to learn C Sharp using VS Code or do the coding inside the VS Code. So today very quick tutorial how you can download and install C Sharp in the VS Code. Well, let's begin. The first thing that you're going to do is you need to download the .NET SDK. To do that, you have to come on .net.microsoft.com slash downloads link, EN uh, US downloads link. Okay, I will leave the description link in the description below. So please do check this link out. You can find the link and then just come here, download it. If you're not, just Google it out, download SDK, .net SDK, and you can find the link as well. So once you have this link, please select the appropriate version for your operating system. In my case, I am using Mac, so I will download the .SDK version for Apple Silicon. That should work fine for me. Once downloaded, just install it. Installation is very simple and easy. For an Apple, just double click uh, and right click on the install. And similarly, if you are doing Windows, again, double click and just go for follow the instructions. Once you download the .NET and install it, go inside VS Code. Again, Google it out, download VS Code or come into code.visualstudio.com slash download. The link again is in the description. So once here, you need to download VS Code depending on which version you are using. For me, I'm using Mac. Again, for Mac, download the DF, DF, DMG file. Just double click on it and then drop it on the applications. It will simply install it. Okay. Once these two applications are done, that's all you need to do. Finally, we come back inside our VS Code. Inside the VS Code, now you need to install two major extensions. The first is if you type in C Sharp, you will see a C Sharp Dev Kit. Okay, so you need to install this C Sharp Dev Kit. Here. This is the extension that's needed to be installed. So click on install button here, or you'll find install button here. Since I've already done it, I don't see the button here. Once you install this, usually I install the C Sharp code base. It just provides some additional code support within the VS Code. A nice uh, extension that provides a color theme for the C Sharp code as well. Right? It's optional, but do go install it. Okay. Once you install it, the third extension is known as IntelliJ Code for C Sharp Dev Kit. This is again mandatory extension that you need for uh, C Sharp for code to properly work within the VS Code. Okay, this is where most people tend to make a mistake and they don't install this one and then they run up into various different issues. So once you come here again, click on the install button here or here, you need to install this. So that's all the setup that is needed to install the CF Sharp. Okay, after installing the VS Code, after installing the .NET package, you need to install these three extensions. Now once you are done, you need to create a folder. So we come inside File, click on Open Folder. And then click on new project and for example we can say c sharp code okay click on this open folder and click open so now you have your default folder available okay so now once you have created the new project again it's a blank project so now we click on this settings icon here and click on the command palette or you can use the shortcut once the command palette has started type in dot net and then you need to go for this new project option here once you click on the new project option, it will create a new project and then give you an option called that what type of project you want to create based on .NET. So we say, hey, I want to create a console app. So you can click on this one or just type in console and your option will pop up. Again, just press enter. This will create the console app project for you. Once it is done, it will ask you which directory you want to put the folder in. So currently we have already selected our default project folder. So folder, so all the content will go inside those folders. Okay, so we say, hey, just use the default folder that I've already created. The final confirmation is again ask, hey, do you want to create the project? I said, yes, click on create and voila, the project is created. As simple as that. So if you go inside the VS Code in console, we have a project here. Again, in order to create a project, click on the star, click on the command palette, come here, type in .NET new and you will find the new project. Click here, it's going to ask us, hey, where do you, what do you want to do? So we select the console app project then you provide the name last option i forgot to name, provide the name so it created a default console project so for example i can say hello world this has become my project name or any project name that you want to create so make sure you provide the project name press enter yes select the default directory yes i want a default directory create the project final confirmation yes and this time it will create a project called hello world again inside the same folder that you created in your explorer so now we have c sharp program here if you select the C-sharp program, this program is here. To run this code, there we need to open this project file in our system. So if we can go file, open folder, and then you can select the Hello World project or whatever project you're working on. So once you click on open, 
this will specifically open a single project then come inside your terminal and type dot net space run and this will run the project and print the output for you simple as that so the again key thing is the most students tend to make mistake uh, if i go inside file open folder and if i open my base folder which we just created c sharp code okay and then click open so currently actually i'm inside my c sharp base folder if you're here and you type in dot net uh, dot net run you would find it gives us error and it says that i cannot find a project to create so even though we just created the project it's not there somehow c sharp is not able to find the project directory so now to solve this problem either you can just type in here cd which basically means change directory to hello world again hello world is the my project directory that i want to go into and now once i'm inside hello world i can say dot net run and this will execute the project okay so if you want to be remaining here you want to switch between multiple projects make sure you type in cd hello world so to change into the current project directory and then run the code because it needs this cs project file to run the project or simply sometimes we can just go inside file open folder inside your folder since you have two projects click on one file open it and now it's running here okay once you do that now you can just simply click here and come without the cd dot net run it should run the project simple as that or i have another extension installed called code runner okay so if you have this applic uh, uh, this extension installed code runner you would notice that you see this plus icon here so i can click on this plus icon here and this will again uh, sorry the play icon and it will execute the code as simple as that so i hope you understand this process very simple very easy you basically need to install uh, run these three things uh, first install the dot net then install the visual studio code then come inside your vs code inside this vs code you need to install three extensions which basically are your c sharp extension which is the c sharp base c sharp dev kit and then the intellij extension okay this one so we install this intellij so these extensions are there i will leave the name in the description again the links for the projects as well once you install this again i recommend code runner it's a very nice extension that allows us to have this play button here then we need to create a project and i'll already show you how to do that so come here click on the command palette and then just type in dot net new project once it is there we type in console app once we are here provide the app name so for example test press enter yes default directory create project and voila it will create the project in the required folder but if you run it now because you are in hello world project notice here this test will not run okay so that's where the problem occurs so in order to ensure that you are in the correct folder you go inside the file you open that folder or just change the directory from the terminal should be okay once you do that wonderful no problem with that so hopefully you understand how to run the c sharp program so you can come here change the code and execute the program as it goes this is dr shan signing off